started my stall today. Uh, it's going on pretty good. Got a gas burner at the bottom. Just burning lightly there. It's a 50 litre cake with a uh, with a pressure cooker welded on top of the cake. It's got a pipe on top. This is a condenser. See the water dripping from it. It condenses. You can see the water on it. That's a bottom outlet. The right bottom one. The one on the left is the inlet. Push the water up into the into the, the condenser and it comes out at the top. It's got another temperature gauge and I'm just on the left of it. That's where the steam comes out. Yeah, I've got a, another temperature gauge. Try and get a video of the gauge. It's a bit hard to see. We just turn it back on. Uh, it's on 85.6 degrees, just nice and steady. Yeah, I got a cooler box with one pipe coming from the pump, the other one flowing back into the into the cooler box. All the stars and ice cold. Got a bag of ice in there. This is a submersible pump which sucks the water in and pumps it up up into the column up up all the way into the column down to the bottom one which is that one there and it pushes the water up into the column comes out here on the top again at that one and flows back into into this uh, cooler box as you can see and we keep it closed we've got a bag of ice in there just to keep it nice and cold temperature is still on about 85.8 .8 degrees I'll show you now. This is all being tick welded with 316 stainless steel rods. So I won't rust. I'll just show you the top of the column. Here we got another temperature gauge. And it shows 82.9. So we try and keep it between 80 and 85 degrees, which is ideal. You can, the first bit that comes out is coming out at about 74 degrees and that first bit, the 100 more I always chuck away. That's uh, very dangerous to drink. Yeah, we got a little bit just coming out, just dripping away nicely there. I'll try and see if I can show it a bit better yeah it's just dripping nicely all the way you don't want it to go too quick so you gotta regulate your temperature so it just just drips out nice and steady don't be too much in a hurry doing it That's the good stuff, the first 100 mils are measured with a measuring jug. This measuring jug, and I chucked away the first 100 mil on it, which I now keep for later for cleaning anything. It's like methylated spirits, very high alcohol or methylated spirits very dangerous stuff 
can, can get born from it. Not to drink. This is the good stuff that's coming out. Nice and steady. See, so yeah, there's my old setup. Gas bottle for a burner. I'll just shove something underneath it just to keep it up a bit. Made a little stand. Tied it up onto the stand so it doesn't fall over. Pressure cooker that's welded onto the keg. Pressure cooker lid. Temperature gauge. Use some uh, epoxy sealer to put it on. Got in so it just screws on with, with uh, copper brass fittings. Actually just brass fittings that's been welded. Also it's been sealed. Uh, you can see I also can't insight. This is a condensed spot. Got about three meters of copper tubing which is 516 tubing. It's a plus minus about eight millimeters uh, in, in diameter. And yeah, that's where steam goes into it. Down into the coil all the way down to the bottom. Right down to the bottom. Comes down at that one there, which goes back into the bottle. Mostly just over there. And this is all the good stuff we've been catching. Thanks for watching my video.